Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. Another Amazon box. So I'm just going to rip into this. I honestly don't remember half the things I order now on Amazon. Yay! No sooner. No sooner. Literally, I just finished the video on this SCART to HDMI adapter and put everything away, whereas <laughs> this has just come in, which is a SCART to HDMI adapter. Hooray! And hopefully the difference between this one and the previous one was this one will do RGB rather than just component. Sorry, component. Composite. Ooh, it certainly looks more impressive. It's a nice metal box for a change. Juicy AC adapter. Very nice. Nothing really else of note in the box that we're going to need. Let's see the spec of this adapter. It's a uh, 5 volts, 1 amp. Okay, pretty good, pretty nice, heavy. That's the first thing that hits you. This thing is definitely heavy, so I'm going to have to include a nice link for you guys watching along at home. So yeah, HDMI input, SCART input, 5 volts. HDMI output, ooh, that's nice. Got an in and an out audio, coax. SCART HD, 720, 1080p, PAL NTSC. So that's cute. So that will allow you to switch the different inputs between this and this. So yeah, that acts as a nice little switcher box. If you've got sort of games on the go, then that's going to help you out a lot. So I'm just having a quick look though before we put it into service and test it out. This is the Teardown Lab after all. Ugh. Let's see if we can get into it. Little screw there. Nice, that lid just slid straight out. Oh, look at these guys. They don't want you to know what they've done. They've completely, completely sanded down the top of the uh, chip. Just, I'm just having a look to see. It's got some screw terminals. There they are. This is really well made. It's really fitted quite nicely. Oh, that's tight. That is almost too tight to undo. Let's get some extra torque on here. Yep, that torqued okay. Torqued over here, that one too. So before we lose my lose my marbles, lose my screws, I'm just gonna put them aside. So the PCB on this says SCART plus HDMI to HDMI V01. So good, they only needed a V1. One more screw hole here. So this box was £24 on Amazon, but I'd got it using a discount code, but that discount might be a permanent discount for all I know. The other one I got that was sort of rubbish was about tenner, so this represents really good value for money. Nothing on the bottom of the PCB, apart from maybe a bit of spare solder we don't quite want. Just looking at the uh, pinouts here, I can't quite tell, to be honest with you, whether all of the RGB is connected through, but it said it did it in, in a sort of spec, so we'll know soon enough when we try this out. Just looking at this sort of uh, chip here, tricky to see exactly what that is. I'm going to wet my thumb, just rub it on. See, sometimes they've really, they've really gone to town on that. That's been properly, properly erased erased from history. So that may well be a proper ASIC in there. Just a hint of some writing, but no. Um, 24 megahertz crystal. I don't know. I think that might be for this. In our previous thing we opened, we had a 24 megs and a 24 point something. Let's have a look at the edge. 5 volts, TX, RX and ground. So you might have a serial connection there. Reset ground swim. SWIM is swim and 3v3. So these are possibly headers just for programming up some of these things. So that's probably a self contained IC. So the only thing that really remains though is just to try it out because if this works, this will solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. I'm just going to screw it back together and we'll jump cut. So you can see I've got it hooked up here. It's going whoop to this monitor, which is connected to this Atari ST. And look at that picture. That is rock solid. I'm just going to lean over, press some keys. But I'm going to hold the camera steady. That is a rock solid picture. And it looks absolutely 
absolutely gorgeous. This is a really good solution. I just wish I had a better game to, to demonstrate this. I need one of those video rolling video demos that you used to get back in the day. So I'm going to just push the button now on the front of the unit. It does have one which says 720 1080p. So if I push that... Oh, you can see a menu actually pops up. SCART, PAL. Oops, I pushed it again. Look, 800 by 600. Yeah, the picture's still pretty good, to be honest with you. But yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. I don't know. And pushing the PAL NTSC button doesn't seem to be doing anything. So that seems to be a winner. So if you've got an Atari ST, that's definitely using the RGB, so you can just plug your SCART cable in. Obviously your sort of mileage will vary depending on your SCART cable. You can see actually there I managed to unplug it. Doesn't like that, but yeah, I just pushed it home. Brilliant. Sort of quickly locked in. That works really well. And it does seem, it's a very convincing, nice metal box. I'm guessing if you have the another HDMI plugged in, you can use this SCAR HD button. And I've just pushed that, and it's just switched. And I'll push it again. Source, SCAR, PAL, 1024 by 768 Brilliant. So, if you've uh, got any comments on this, please uh, write them in down below. If you're that way inclined, click like and subscribe. And as ever, thank you for watching. Yeah, before I sort of signed off, I thought I'd just try the uh, Atari just to make sure it does the medium and low res modes okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a weird shimmer around the cursor. That's just probably to do with digital processing, but to be honest, that's pretty good. Uh, set preferences. Go to the medium resolution. Click OK. Yep, we know. And there you go. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous.